Well guys, hello and welcome here again to a new video. And today we're going to talk about DSP, T2X and everything that we are basically into. And let me start off by saying that, that I'm pretty much really happy. I'm now at 115,000 uh, or so TRX that we earned from dividends, which is way too much that I basically thought of at the beginning I thought mm, we can uh, make our money back in a week or maybe do a double up that's that was my uh, yeah my opinion at the beginning because I didn't know that this was so ballistic yeah I even got more where is coin go <coughs> Jesus uh, Okay, there we go. We had mm, that's one one. We're gonna get to that in one second. One thirty five zero zero zero. Yeah, so basically three hundred and uh, two thousand six hundred bucks we earned so far on the SP token. Tomorrow, this one, our first stake, will be get credited, and we earned an interest of seventy eight uh, DSP. If we go in and press trade in a new tab, because I'm going to talk about that liquidity, that's basic. Well, my bad. Uh, it's 78. I think that's even like 200, 400 TRX. Yeah, it definitely is. So we would have earned an interest of approximately 13 bucks on those five days from a stake of 4k, 4.484 k. And we got the shares weight mm, a bit below on the third day, basically. So yeah, uh, we got our first bonus day already. Now this one has to cool off until uh, four days, I think, because the bonus day was yesterday, and then it got a payday. And uh, doon, doon, doon. Yeah, I think like this week it will end. And yeah, of course, this one will take a while. But it doesn't matter because look at how much interest we are basically getting. 379 plus 59. That's almost already, yeah, 500. And 500 is a lot because then we can just restake that without adding too much TRX into it. <coughs> and I'm here at the trust fork, by the way. Ah, and by the way, if you're not already in, make sure to use the referral link because then you get 5% extra on the minted token in the auction. Works for T2X, works for DSP. All the links are in the description down below. But let's talk about something which was really interesting. It's not showing, of course it's not showing here, but yesterday, it's no joke. This price spiked up to uh, 14 TRX per DSP. And at that moment, my 20k DSP would have been worth this much 280,000 yeah 7,563 and that was insane I was like sitting there and this can't be real but yeah look at this the volume even higher on the peak than T2X and it's still going on the transaction increasing the liquidity of course got removed a bit because it was really high yesterday or today <coughs> so the auction, <coughs> how many people were in it? 15.249 million TRX. Is it bad? No, it isn't. If it stays over 10 million, it's basically a GG, and it already looks like that it's gonna be a great day again because everything over 10 million makes a huge payment in dividends. This one's almost over 100k in TRX and I didn't think about that until the end of the month. And it's, yeah, it's the first day basically of it where it got the bonus days. So 25 days are left on that one. <coughs> so, let's move on to T2X. As always, I was really impatient. I claimed already my T2X and I got TRX dividends, which then I put back into, as you can see right here, we got 18k now staking from 16.9 to 18.87 and why that? Why are we going back into T2X because of the V2X which is coming out soon and also the payment rates of 
one one of the t2x is actually increasing, which means we form a lot of t2x. Uh, I'm going to calculate it, of course, just to make sure, because I love numbers. But we're just gonna go no, two, four, five, boom, and then six, seven, thirty nine, forty two, and forty five. And a 49 and a 55 perfect so this is how much we earned on a t2x token if we then go over and we want to swap for t2x you always need to look at the pgp and was 403 so we still got 84 trx on interest is it much no it isn't but still it's passive income so i'm not going to complain uh yeah the next thing soon X2T comes out, and I'm sitting here with 6 million, basically Axion, uh, on the telegram as you can see right here. <coughs> uh, chatting with the devs, things are going very well. Looking forward to give the updates once we uh, have everything complied. Mainnet is looking incredibly good for launch in the near future here. And then uh, here's a beta version of the upcoming website. Please run it for your device and screenshot anything that seems out of ordinary for us to fix. Make sure you use uh, brains in so you can read it later. Thanks a lot. And then, if you go into this one, um, boom, you don't save it. This is the new beta page. Living of the interest. <coughs> yeah, pretty, pretty much looks a bit good. I still don't know where the Forbes comes out on. Is this really future on Forbes? Yeah, it is. Nice. Uh, <coughs> Axion, and then you have here the white paper. I don't know if the white paper are working. Yeah, they are working. Basically, those are the old then. Then you can see the preview of their debit card. Uh, putting the tokens and value into your pocket. And then Axion is fully audited. And you have the supply, uh, how much, and everything. And it pretty much looks really, really nice. But yeah. We just need to wait for the main ad to go live, guys, because then we have three platforms that we got paid each and every day without doing anything. And yeah, I'm back providing some liquidity on the SB TRX. This was 45 and 300 TRX at the beginning. But because there is no liquidity in it and the volume is just obliviating like T2X, you earn a lot more in the pool. But still, don't do it with a lot of uh, DSP or TRX because then you can get dumped on and people might don't go back to the auction to get a uh, DSP token. And that's the thing that I don't like. That's why I only provide like, what is this, uh, 10 bucks or so on each side, 351. Yeah, it's like 10 bucks on each side. So it's not really going to happen much besides collecting some fees. And yeah, uh, I'm going to come back on this one very soon, uh, but yeah, one second. Okay, now I'm back. Sorry, there was a phone call which came in, but yeah, if we have a look here, by the way, at the price uh, on CoinGecko, what currently is happening with everything, we're just going to have Ethereum as a backup because Ethereum is way much more smoother than Bitcoin to look at because there ain't those spikes in here. But yeah, if you look at this chart, what can you see? Wait, what can you see? This is not what we expected, that's not what I expected. I thought 323, nah, it must go lower. Like 170 or so, yeah, I was really bearish on uh, fuel because of this, because I bought, oh, where the, did I bought it in January somewhere, where is it? Yeah, I think about here I got my birthday, so it was like 18, 19, 20, somewhere there. And then I bought uh, the West on the crash. And then I went up and I sold at 330, a few. But I thought because of this, uh, this sh ship will go back down because it didn't look way healthier because this really looked like a scam week to the top and that it then gonna retest the previous lows which were at that time 
236 are not those because we didn't trade any time around here. <laughs> we never traded that. I feel it is so funny because you look at this chart. You see it. You see it always come back to the 200 area. Then you look at it and it doesn't. Why? Is this really happening, the bull, the bull one? Or am I just dreaming again? Because for Bitcoin it's basically the same. We never spent so much time above 10k. Like, I never saw it happen that often. Because as you can see, this is basically the mark for 10k. And you can cut through the chart and only get a handful of days. But if you take it from the upside, like you ignore the 10k and you fake everything below, you have a lot more time, you have like, I don't know, 5 years and maybe a month out of those 5 years we spent above 10k. That might change though in the future, of course. The longer we trade over 10k, the better it is. Maybe then 10k will be real, be really the resistance at the support level that we needed and that everyone wants and Bitcoin will never go below 10k. But that's just not going to happen. There's so much chaos in the world. Remember this when the market is crashing, please. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.